Hi guys, welcome to Android Galaxy Development. Today I am with an entirely uh, different concept. It's uh, about setting the Moto X Plus screen in your Samsung Galaxy YGTS 5360. It's quite interesting. The lock screen of Moto X is quite interesting and very attractive. So let's have it in our small Samsung Galaxy YGTS 5360. For that, you will be needing the two application named as Widget Locker and the UCCW. Widget Locker is a uh, paid application in the market, but I've given a free link down in the description itself, and the UCCW has also been given, and some of the UZIP file which you have to download, and some PNG format pics. So download all the files and keep it in your file in your SD card you can see over here these are the files which I had given to download which is the camera.png log.png and a wallpaper for the format of PNG and two files which is mmx bottom dot use it and mmx top dot use it so that's all the files you're going to be needed so let's go and change out your lock screen of Samsung Galaxy YGDS5260 Follow the procedures carefully. Here, you know, you're going to get uh, these two applications I've given in the descriptions. So let's go and set up our widget locker first. Here it is. I've pasted a shortcut here itself. Click on the widget locker. And you can see like this. This will be the, vis this will be the thing which will be visible after clicking the widget locker application. So if there, if it, if there is anything in the screen, just uh, long, cling or long click on it and remove the thing. So now you could press the option, you'll get a way out like this. You go on settings. So here you'll come to the widget locker setting. Just uh, click on widget locker enabled. Now you're going to go to the second option, which is look and feel. In it, you're going to select alternate wallpaper. This is the first step. So select wallpaper and select your default gallery app as I'm using the stock gallery app. Here you can see I've put it into the folder so it will show only three. Here it is. This is the wallpaper which I had given you in the PNG format. Select it and just resize it as much as you can and just save it. Saving the image and now you have to go is to the layout option which is right down over here. Go on layout. You're gonna select you're gonna deselect the automatically deter determine grid size over here. If it is selected, just deselect it and you can just and if this thing is up or down, just pull it out totally down here. And here down you're gonna select twelve by eleven or twelve by twelve, it's okay and just save it and now you're going to go as you have all uh, set up now you have to go at the down and you can see hide notification bar as you know the notification bar is not visible on the lock screen so you have to click on hide notification bar enable it now come back as you have saved this many things uh, now you have to go is to the advanced here is the advanced setting and in advanced setting, you're going you're gonna to enable this widget overlap. You can see over here, it's already enabled. So if it is disabled in your devices, just enable it. And now you're going to go in this home helper, which is the second option. And uh, just take into the consideration that these three should be enabled. The first one, sorry, the first one, the home helper, and the second one, which is home helper block, and block home in other we don't mean its meaning just uh, enable this tree and come back and when you come back this will be your wallpaper is set it and now you're going to do is you're going to set everything which you need so now just long press anywhere in the screen and select the widgets so you know, go and set the UCCW files. Here you can see you'll get UCCW one by one, one by two, one by four, or like this, anything. Select anyone, 
But if I'm selecting 4 by 2, select 4 by 2, and here you can see you select the U zip, and here it is. You can get some U zips over here as I have downloaded, mm, as I have given the files that mmx bottom dot U zip and mmx top dot U zip. So you're going to select first is the top one. So I have already uh, took uh, over here. So now we're going to select MMX top. And here it is. It has come over here. So you're going to just select it and resize it. You're going to pull it up. Pull it up. Take it to the top. And here it is. Just tap outside the screen. Here the top one is already. And now select the widgets once again. Select any of the UCCW sizes. 4x2 by, by default by me and I have already loaded if you guys are not loaded just select the U zip and select the files which where you have located and in, and uh, just enable it down inside the application so now the second one you're going to select is MMX bottom select the MMX bottom it has come over here just click it and select resize and after resizing your looks your lock screen will be looking somewhat like this here it is and now you might be thinking how to lock it how to unlock it sorry so now you're going to put the custom slider now it's the file it's the file you will be needing so here it is this is a custom slider you have to select it and now you can see uh, you have to select the custom slider so that uh, so i have got already an invisible tabs which is over here so for getting it, you can go on Get Themes, and you will get uh, get a second option, which is Invisible Theme. So download it. It's just about a KB. Your sense, I think so. Sorry. Here it is, Invisible Tabs. Select the Invisible Tabs. So in Invisible Tabs, you will be getting like this. Now pull down the green button this side. Now you're gonna go and select the icon. In icon, you gotta select uh, copy from copy from the photo gallery. Yes, and select the photo gallery app whichever you're having. And here we are. Here you gotta select your unlock button. Select the unlock button. Resize it to the full and select save. That's all done with the first one. And the second one now you're gonna do, drag it this side. And now here you're gonna something change. Some changes over here. Select the application, and in application you're gonna select the camera because you're gonna make it a camera. As you can see in Moto X lock screen, the second one is camera. So now you're gonna select from gallery, crop from gallery. Select the default gallery app. Select it, and now you're gonna select the camera button which I had provided you resize it and select save and now that's all done got to make it out and select done it has come over here but it's come in a very small minor so you got to reset now you're just going to be patient over here look at this now you wanted uh, want this uh, two icons to be horizontal i mean sorry yeah you want it in the straight so you're going to Collapse from right to left so that it comes in the middle and just take it off. Here it is. So now you just press this one. Here it is. You are all set now. Just unlock this. This is unlocked. So once again I will show you. Here it is. And now if you want to block the clicks, unnecessary clicks, you have to just select, uh, select it long click and block clicks. And over here on the URL, so you're going to do like that the same. Okay. And if you want to change this icon, you can change it itself. You should just, so first you have to allow clicks. Then you have to press this. Press this. So it will open the UCCW. You got to go edit objects. And in edit objects, you're going to select image one. And in image one, you're going to select the image and select the gallery and select the select the image, what you, whatever you will be needing. 
For example, I'm uh, taking this Android Pop. As you can see, you can increase the scale. As you can see, it's uh, popping up. So just close it and just come back. Just press the back button, close that yes. And you can see, you've get it over, got it over here. So it's have a, it has come little, little small. So you can adjust it by just uh, increasing the scale, which is over here. You can click on the plus button. Okay, this much will be enough, 55. And just close that. And you can see the uh, image has been changed. And here is the lock screen. All done, just, if everything is done, just block the clicks so that if any clicks, there will be no problem. And that's all with this video. You're, you have set your lock screen, same like the Moto X. So hopefully you like the video. And if you have any problem, please do comment in the video down. And please do like the video. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching, guys.